Hola, ¿qué tal todos? Aquí estamos otra vez con Sentence Starters number 110, Commands. Now we're talking about stem changing, i.e. verbs. Key points. We know there are two familiar commands. There's the positive and the negative. The two positive, the two negative. There are two formal commands, de usted and ustedes. De usted and ustedes, to make them negative, you just put a no in front of them. So we have four different spellings, four different commands. The positive two, the negative two, usted and ustedes. Now we're talking about verbs that have an IE in them when you spell them out. Look at the verbs on the left. We have cerrar, pensar, empezar, comenzar, sentarse, and despertarse. All five of those verbs are AR verbs. So we know the positive familiar command for those verbs is going to end in A, regular vowel. We know that the negative familiar command for those verbs is going to end in opposite vowel S, which is ES. Okay? Cerrar to close, pensar to think, empezar to start, comenzar to start, sentarse to sit down, despertarse to wake up. Here are the commands. Positive familiar command. Cierra, piensa, empieza, comienza, siéntate, and despiértate. Sierra means close. You tell your friend to close it, sierra lo. One word, put the lo on the end, come back three vowels, and put an accent on the E. Think it over. Piensa lo. Put the lo on the end, come back three vowels, put an accent mark on the E. Start it. Empieza lo. Put a lo on the end, come back three vowels, put an accent mark on the E. Comienza. Comienza mañana. Start tomorrow. Siéntate. Well, the command is sienta with an A, regular vowel, and we have to put the te on the end. So we're going to count back three vowels and put an accent mark on the E. Same thing with wake up. Despierta with an A, regular vowel. We put the te on the end, count back three vowels and put an accent mark. Despiertate. These are stem changing E to I, E verbs. So if you look at cerrar, it's C-E-R. But when we spell it out here in the commands, it's got a C-I-E. The E goes to I-E. In the first five verbs, first six verbs, okay, that are AR verbs. Sierra, piensa, empieza, comienza, siéntate, despiértate. Now, to make these negative, how do we do that? Well, you can take the familiar command, put a no in front, and swap out the A for an ES. No cierres, no pienses, no empieces. The Z happens to change to C in front of an I or E. But you're not going to learn that through explanation. You're going to learn it through seeing and hearing it over and over again. No empieces is with a C. No comiences is with a C. Don't sit down. All right, take no. Take sienta. Change the A to ES. No sientes. And now your pronoun te goes between the no and the command. No te sientes. Don't sit down. The same thing. Don't wake up. Like don't wake up early. No te despiertes. Okay, let's go from entender down to mentir. These are ER and IR verbs. They're also stem changing. That E is going to go to IE. The E in the middle of the word is going to go to IE when we do our commands. Entender to understand. Perder to lose. Defender to defend. Invertir to invest. And mentir to lie. Okay. So do, what do we know? We know that the positive familiar command, the first one of the four, is regular vowel. We know the regular vowel for ER and IR verbs is E. So all of these two commands are going to end in E. Let's try it out. Entiende, understand, good. Pierde, lose, that's correct. Defiende, defend, that's correct. Invierte, invest, that's correct. En miente, lie, that is correct. Now how do we make those negative? Well, put a no in front and change the regular vowel E to an AS. No entiendas. Don't lose. No pierdas. Don't defend. No defiendas. Don't invest. No inviertas. And don't lie. No mientas. <clears throat> Hopefully you're starting to see the pattern. Now, the usted and ustedes commands, we know that they are opposite vowel. So being that these verbs are ER and IR verbs, the opposite vowel is going to be the letter A. So the usted command is going to end in A, and the ustedes command will end just by putting an N on the A, A-N. So understand to an usted person would be entienda. Group, group command, entiendan. 
Lose, pierda, pierdan. Defend, defienda, defiendan. Invest, invierta, inviertan. Mienta, mientan. All right, let's take a breath. Let's think about it. We know we've got four commands. The first two are the familiar commands that you give to someone with whom you're on a first name basis. There's a positive command for a friend and there's a negative command for a friend. We call it familiar or the two command. We know that positive commands for all verbs are regular vowel. And that is for AR verbs, they're gonna end in A, like we see here. Sierra, piensa, empieza, comienza, siéntate, despiértate. And for ER and IR verbs, you know the regular vowel is E. And of course, these familiar two commands end in E, regular vowel. But we know that the negative command that you give to a friend and the ustedes commands and usted commands all are opposite vowel. What are opposite vowels again? For AR verbs, the opposite vowel is E. For ER and IR verbs, the opposite vowel is A. Okay, so when we look at the negative familiar command, a negative command to a friend, we know it's gonna end in opposite vowel S. So if it's an AR verb, it's gonna end in ES. If it's an ER or IR verb, it's gonna end in AS. And all these verbs are clustered together because the E in the middle of the infinitive on the far left is gonna to change to IE when you write out the commands or say them. Now let's go to the usted and ustedes commands, right? Okay, we know their opposite vowel and we know that the stem change. So the first six verbs are AR verbs, they're gonna end in E. And the last five verbs are ER and IR verbs, they're gonna end in A. These are opposite vowel. How do you get to the ustedes command? You take the usted command, which is opposite vowel, and you add N, and you've got it. All right, now let's see if we can understand the examples. You're talking to a friend, that's the first command of the four listed, the four columns, it's the first one, it's a two command, the negative, or excuse me, the positive familiar command. Close the door, okay, cerrar, it's an IE stem change, we know that, and it's to a friend, so it's a regular vowel, the verb is cerrar, it's gonna end in A, does it? Oh, there it is, cierra la puerta. Now we're saying don't close it to a friend. Well, we know that all the other three commands, whether it's negative, familiar, or the formal commands, they're all opposite vowel, okay? And we know a negative command to a friend is gonna end in opposite vowel, S. So this one should be no la cierres, don't close it. The la is referring perhaps to la puerta, the door, feminine. No la cierres. All right, you're talking to an usted person, don't lose the receipt. Okay, the verb is perder. It's an ER verb. We're doing usted command, so it's opposite vowel, so it's gonna end in A. But we know it's a stem change, that E goes to IE, so it should be no pierda el recibo. Yep, there it is, no pierda el recibo. Sit down to a group. Well, we know the N factor shows up. It's going to end in N, plus you're going to tag on the reflexive pronoun. So sentarse, it's an AR verb. So the opposite vowel is going to be E. You know it's going to end in N, so it's going to end in EN. And the E goes to IE. So we've got sienten. What's the reflexive pronoun for you guys? It's say. Sienten say. We go back, since we added one pronoun, we go back three vowels and put an accent mark. Good. Now we're talking to a friend again. So it's one of the first two columns. Don't think that. Well, it's negative. So the negative to command we know is, we know that all negative commands are opposite vowel, right? So... The verb is pensar, so it's going to end in, to a friend, it's going to end in opposite vowel S, so that would be ES. It stem changes from E to IE, so the answer should be no pienses eso. Start to a group, we know it's going to end in N, and we know it's going to be opposite vowel, so we know empezar is AR verb, so it's going to end in EN, MPSN. And notice the C, Z changes to C in front of an I or an E. That's just a fact that you're gonna learn. The letter Z changes to the letter C when it's in front of an I or an E. That's why you have MPSN. Now you're telling us start to a friend. That's our first command, right? The positive familiar. So we know it's regular vowel. Empezar is an AR verb, so it's gonna end in A. We've got the stem change in it, so it should be empieza. Good. The Z stays Z, because it's not in front of an I or an E. Now we're saying start to an usted person. Well, that's going to be opposite vowel. Empezar is an AR verb, so we know it's going to end in E. 
We know it's stem changes, so it's going to have an IE, but we didn't we say that the letter Z changes to a C in front of an I or an E? So we should have MPSA, E-M-P-I-E-C-E, -E. okay? Do not sit down to a stranger, okay? That's usted. All usted commands are opposite vowel. Centarse, it's an AR verb. It's going to have an A, and it's reflexive, so the pronoun for a stranger like he or she or you, usted, is say, and we've got the I-E stem change. So we know it's negative. We start with no. Then our pronoun would be say, and then we go... Stem change, it's siente, opposite vowel. No se siente. What I recommend for all of you is go over these, play them a couple of times through, and look at the PDF, look at your file, and listen and listen and listen, and just go over it a few times. You're going to get it. I guarantee you're going to get it better than anyone. It's like breaking in a pair of shoes. You're not going to break in a pair of wingtips, hard leather shoes, with one wear, okay? You're not going to uh, sand down a tiki with one swipe of a piece of sandpaper it takes some effort so commands are a little complex but we know there's four commands at this point four commands the only one that we haven't done is the let's command and that would be the fifth and that's the easiest because it just goes to the far right column and it just follows the pattern pretty much what we already have but there are four commands the first one the positive two command is regular vowel um, the negative and the usted, ustedes commands are opposite vowel. Okay, there you go. All right, that'll do it for section or lesson number 110. Hasta pronto, hasta la próxima lección. This is Professor Pablo signing off. Cambio fuera.